in this video we'll be discussing uh, kinetic energy which is the energy of an object due to its motion okay so let's first start by writing down the formula for kinetic energy so it's ek equals to okay ek stands for kinetic energy some textbooks say it's ke so it's up to you which one you are using with your teacher okay so i'm currently using ek i got this from siawala textbook ek equals to half mv squared all right m is the mass which you already know it's measured in kilograms and v is your velocity which is measured in meters per second okay so uh, this one is quite simple it's actually the opposite of potential energy which we did in the previous videos not exactly opposite but opposite in the sense that when potential energy is maximum uh, kinetic energy is minimum so we've seen in the previous videos that when we have something like this an object being at the top and then it falls to the bottom the potential energy here was maximum because our height was maximum but at the bottom the potential energy was zero because our height was zero so now we'll see that uh, the kinetic energy at the top will be zero and then at the bottom it will be maximum we're going to prove this using calculations and i'll actually explain why this is the case okay but that is what you need to know so let's look at this example a 1 kg brick falls off a 4 meter high roof it reaches the ground with a velocity of 8,85 meters per second what is the kinetic energy of the brick when it starts to fall and when it reaches the ground okay so now let's just try and analyze this question as i already say try to analyze the question find out what is given then ask yourself what you are what are you asked to do okay and then you write down the formula so let's to analyze this question i'm just going to use a small drawing as i all I, I always do so this roof is four meter high okay which means at the top it's four meters at the bottom it's zero meters and then okay at the top okay yes that's right so the the brick is four meter high and we're given a velocity of eight comma five meters okay what is the kinetic energy of the brick when it starts to fall and when it reaches the ground let's see what's given for us so when it starts to fall it starts to fall here at the top what is given for us at the top we're given a height of four meters we're given mass which is one kilograms we are given velocity which is 8,85 meters per second i'm just writing out everything that's given okay and then let's try to calculate the kinetic energy okay so i'm gonna say at the top i know the formula for kinetic energy is ek equals to half m v squared all right okay hold on i made a mistake here about the velocity at the top okay let's look at this so let's try to analyze the velocity where is this zero i mean 8,85 meters per second is it at the top or at the bottom okay they say they clearly here yeah, it's uh it's when it reaches the ground which means the velocity is at the ground which is 8,85 but what is the velocity here at the top because we need this velocity in order to calculate the kinetic energy okay so let's check out what is happening let's say you throw an object to the top it reaches the maximum then it falls okay so according to mathematics this point here is your turning point right you can't turn without stopping okay because if the object didn't stop it will continue to shoot up straight 
but for it to start falling at some point it had to stop okay so that is our maximum point so at the maximum point the object actually had to stop okay it actually had to stop for a moment then start falling I'm saying this because it wouldn't have fallen if if it didn't stop because if it didn't stop it will just continue shooting up 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 and up okay it only decides to fall when it actually stops then it can continue to free fall down okay so it means at the maximum the velocity is zero because an object can only stop if its velocity is at zero so that is the kind of reasoning that you can use okay at maximum the velocity is zero because the object actually has to stop in order for it to turn around okay so that is just a case of throwing an object if an object was thrown but in this case they just told us that it falls off okay falling means you are standing then you fall okay so it means now at this case i'm having an object at a maximum height and it, we just let it fall okay before it started moving it was at a stationary point it was stationary so the velocity is zero so in in this kind in this in this unit the small details are very important just like now you just had to read carefully the brick falls off which means it was standing still first then it started to fall down and then at that point your velocity is zero so it means at the top my velocity is actually zero now you can calculate your ek which is gonna be one over two your mass is one grams velocity is zero squared so at the top your velocity is zero I mean your kinetic energy is zero so you have zero joules okay now let's look at the bottom so at the bottom it's falling with a velocity of 8,05 okay so we can use that 8,05 so it's falling it's gonna hit the ground with that velocity so it means at the bottom we are using 8,85 meters per second okay so ak at the bottom is gonna be half m which is one v which is eight comma eight five squared okay so when you put this in your calculator don't forget to square it because you you might get a wrong answer if you just in a rush okay so you don't forget to square that and then you're gonna get 39 comma two joules that is your kinetic energy at the bottom so now you can see why these holds here okay the kinetic energy at the top is zero at the bottom it's maximum but the potential energy at the top is maximum and it's zero at the bottom that's why i said these are opposite of each other okay